Hey church, it's me, Chip. I am on staff as part of the missions team, but you might recognize me as well because I'm part of the worship team at Manchester Central and all over all of our different campuses and locations. But it is my joy to share with you guys two of my miracle stories. And I hope that you are excited to hear this, as excited as I am to tell all about my miracle stories. The first one happened when I was very young. Um, my left foot used to be turned in, and our pediatrician at the time said, oh, Chip's going to have to undergo some surgery in order to correct his left foot. And uh, my dad was praying for me one night, and he just felt the Holy Spirit lead him. I want you to lay hands on your son and pray for him to be healed. And, uh, and my dad at first thought, well, we've got a faith healer coming to church soon. Maybe I can take him to the front. God was like, nope, you're his dad. I want you to take authority. I want you to pray for him to be healed. And he tells a story. I love it when he tells a story. But he put hands on my ankle. He said as he prayed for me, he, he could feel something going on in there. But he waited until I was awake and walking to actually see whether I was healed or not. He thought I looked pretty healed. He took me back to the pediatrician and the doctor put it down as a scientific miracle. He said, your son is healed. He won't need to undergo all of the surgery. My dad loves to tell the story because he says, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be doing all the jumping around, jumping up and down like you see me doing. Uh, but God healed me. And I believe that is a legit bona fide miracle. <laughs> Another thing that happened though was with our son, Cole, I still remember the day that we had been taking him uh, to an asthma specialist, and he was quite young at the time, and we didn't know how long that was going to have to carry on for, but uh, but we kept doing it. We kept going just so that he could breathe, so that every time he got a viral infection when he was ill, uh, he would be able to recover, and he was on these different inhalers and things, and it was getting worse and worse, and so one Sunday, never forget, chatting to Malcolm Hill, Matt and Elena Hill, <laughs> Matt's dad, um, and uh, I said, hey, you know, can you pray for my son? He just told me a really great miracle story that he had of being healed of asthma. Anyway, he laid hands on Cole. We prayed for him together, agreed together for his healing. Not long after that, I was with the asthma specialist, and she was saying that they would have to increase uh, the medication that he was on in order for him to recover from his asthma. And I looked at her, I said, is there any option that we could actually take him off of all medication? We believe that he's healed. And she said, well, you as his dad, you've got the authority, you've got the ability to say, yeah, to, to do that. And we, we would do that. But I would like to keep a close eye on him to make sure that he's doing okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you, because I was there when it happened, she ended up sending a letter, checked on him from time to time, ended up sending a letter saying, your son is healed. We don't need to see him anymore. What? All praise goes to Jesus. His Hebrew name is Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus the Messiah. Yeshua actually comes from the same word to save. Jesus is our Savior. It's in his name. And I want to read this verse. This is from the end of Mark chapter 10. It says that they spent some time in Jericho as Jesus was leaving town, trailed by his disciples and a parade of people, a blind beggar by the name of Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, was sitting alongside the road. When he heard that Jesus the Nazarene was passing by, he began to cry out, Son of David, Jesus, mercy, have mercy on me. Many tried to hush him up, but he yelled all the louder, Son of David, mercy, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped in his tracks. This is the message version. <laughs> Call him over. They called him. It's your lucky day. Get up. He's calling you to come. Throwing off his coat, he was on his feet at once and came to Jesus. Jesus said, what can I do for you? The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. On your way, said Jesus. Your faith has saved and healed you. In that very instant, he received his sight and followed Jesus down the road. Wow, what a story, huh? 
Hey, listen, God wants to do that for you too. I'm going to lead you in a prayer. You can feel free to pray along with me. Jesus, I thank you that you hear me as I pray. Thank you that you are willing to heal us. And now, God, we ask that you would bring healing, physical healing if necessary, mental healing, emotional healing, spiritual healing, all of the brokenness. Would you take it away as we respond to your voice? Thank you, Lord, that you hear us and you declare that we too are healed. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a great day, church. Love you loads.